Let's take a look at another KSP problem. This time we're given the mass of a this time we're giving a mass of a solute. So we're told that at 25 degrees Celsius, no more than 3.27 grams of lead to bromide can dissolve in 850 milliliters of solution. And we're asked to find the KSP. Let's begin with the reaction. We have lead to bromide, Pb. Br2, which is a solid, is going to break apart into the lead 2 ion, Pb2+, which is aqueous, and two individual bromide ions, which are also aqueous. And this reaction is reversible, so we have an equilibrium problem. The words no more than tell us that we have reached our maximum concentration of lead 2 bromide. That is code for being saturated which is another way to say that we're at equilibrium. I can write my equilibrium expression where Ksp would equal the concentration of the lead 2 ion times the concentration of the bromide ion squared because I have a coefficient of 2 in this reaction. Well, grams and milliliters are no good, so let's make sure we can get ourselves into moles here. I have 3.27 grams of Pb Br2. And if I look at my periodic table, one mole of PbBr2 has a mass of 366.8 grams. When I convert that to moles, I get 0 0.00891 moles of PbBr2. And we want to be in molarity because we're talking about solution. So I'm going to take my point 00891 moles of PBBr2 and divide it by my liters. So 850 milliliters is 0.85 liters. And so I'm getting a molarity of 0 0.0105 molar PBBr2. Well, we can bring this up into our balanced equation here. If I know that this is 0 0.0105 molar, then this is a one-to-one -one ratio, so this must be 0 0.0105 molar. However, the bromide ion is a two-to-one ratio, so this must be 0 0.0210 molar, or twice the concentration of the lead in the lead to bromide. Now we have all the pieces, we can put it together. I can now say that my Ksp is going to equal the concentration of the lead, which we know to be 0 0.0105 molar, times the concentration of the bromide, 0 0.0210 molar squared. Now this might seem redundant because I've doubled my concentration to get 0 0.0210, but then I'm squaring that value down here. It seems like I'm doing something twice. We're doing two different things here. The stoichiometry is demanding that I double the concentration because it's a two to one ratio. And then when I plug it into my equilibrium expression, the equilibrium expression is demanding that I square the concentration because the exponent comes from the coefficient in the reaction. If I do this all out, I can get 0 0.0105 times 0 0.021 squared. And I get a KSP value of 4.63 times 10 to the negative 6.